Hi, everyone out there in the Webiverse. I'm Tanya June Moore, and this is the Sedona International Film Festival in our 30th year. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thanks so much to the volunteers and Yavapai College for providing this incredible space for not only us and our workshops, but all of our filmmakers in the VIP space, and especially to our board and everyone who works all year long at the Sedona International Film Festival to make this a reality for all of us. The Filmmakers Festival is what we like to call it. And these two, minus lovely Franny here, <laughs> might be incredibly familiar to you because this is their sixth year back with us right. at the Sedona Film Festival. Please introduce yourselves in your film. We'll go first. Um, I'm John Gray, a writer and director of The Overlook. And I'm Melissa Peltier, producer of The Overlook. And, and anything, this is... Anything else that needs, this is Franny. This is our service dog who has uh, traveled with us for eight years. This is her first time to Arizona, and I really wanted her to get a chance to be here. Um, she's a little messed up by the desert. She's like, she's never experienced it before. So well, she's kind of- it's all new for her. It's all new. And we're glad that she came. Thanks for making an appearance with us, because we are a dog-loving community. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. and she's she's uh, she's been to other film festivals as well, so she's- She's, she's seasoned. She's seasoned right. film goer, yes. <laughs> Please say hi to Franny when you're out there and about. Uh, she's a pretty amazing, sweet one. Uh, so tell us about The Overlook and give us a brief synopsis because we don't have a trailer with us right now. Tell us what it's about. Well, The Overlook is really, um, it's, it's a bit of a mystery and it's about a, an estranged couple mm -hmm. who reunite for one last kind of mission they have to do uh, on a hike in the woods. Yes. And they get lost. They yes. get lost. They get very lost. <laughs> and this is a really, it's got a good twist, you all. I'm just letting you know, if you've seen any of their content before, you know there's always a little bit of a hmm moment. Uh, the actor that plays the uh, reserve guy, the oh, forest Ranger, guy. Yes. Chris Park Parnell. Ranger. Yeah. Chris Parnell. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You all will recognize this guy. He's been in everything. And he plays the best awkward characters does, doesn't he? ever was that why you chose him for this we love chris parnell we didn't know him and and you had not worked with him before but we were big fans of his from saturday night live mm -hmm. and for years and years and i i feel like what chris brings everything he does is this certain guilelessness the certain kind of yes. innocence yes uh and you just instantly like him and and feel you know he's quirky and funny so um I kind of wrote it with him in mind, and uh, we were very lucky to get him, and uh, and the whole cast. I mean, Eric oh, Layden yeah. and Malzah McCarr, yes, phenomenal. And um, they had such great chemistry. That was they that did. Was they amazing. had great chemistry. I mean, because they never worked together either. But right, right. but uh, while they stayed in our little town, Nyack, where we were shooting some of it, um, they were uh, uh, they they were like doing improvs, going into town like a husband and wife would, you know. Oh, agree. and helping out. I yeah. love that <laughs> little method acting. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Method acting. yeah. I think the reason why I bring up Chris Parnell's character, and he plays the park ranger here as they're going to this overlook, he's the mo really the most endearing piece of this, I think, watching yeah. it, yeah. that really allows us to go, what is going on in this reality? Like, why is he even involved? Why are these, right. I mean, <laughs> right. because he's, he creates this awkward energy. Yes. now. I asked this of all directors in particular. W did you set that up, or was that his, like, I want to be as awkward as I can be, because, especially in that first scene? Well, no, I mean, it really was, it, it, we wanted this kind of quirky, funny character who kind of was a little bit off-putting. Yes. It, they didn't know quite know how to deal with him. Like, what, what is this? <laughs> the first time you see Chris as a park ranger, he, he whips out a stethoscope and is listening to a tree, and you know, which is actually something that, that is done. Yes. Because um, they can hear sap moving and insects and things like that, but you know, who, who would even think of that? So you know, that sort of sets you up immediately for this is some kind of strange character. But once we knew, I mean, I was hoping to get Chris, I had this in mind, I had always Chris in mind. Once we knew we got him, then I went back and did another pass on the script, and, and I had kind of Chris Parnelled it. Yes. <laughs> you know, oh, he's a now he's a verb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, you know, we, we, that's a great luxury once you know your your cast are that you can go in and kind of you know uh, customize it a little bit. 
Yes, and it was very customizable. Yes. Uh, and you, as a producer, where did you shoot this? And <laughs> and, and how? Like, where is this overlook? I well, think this I is know, this but. is a this is a funny story because we went to L.A. last year and we did a, a year before last and we did a horror film that was really complex with stunts and special effects and a bigger cast and it was just like ah. Uh, so what do we do this year that's simpler? Well, those woods are actually most of them are behind our house. Like they're like, uh, we live in Rockland County, New York, which is a, like two thirds state park. So I take her and her brother in the woods every day. And so John was in the woods one day and he's like, I want to shoot here. So that's what we planned for. And we shot at the end of June, right? Yeah. Yeah. The end of June of last year. And what could go wrong? You know, our actors were from <laughs> LA though. They were flying in and storms happened that week and also the Canadian fires. So, oh. so many flights were canceled. And uh, we had to add a, we actually had to add a shooting day because um, Chris Parnell's flight got canceled like three times. Every actor's flight got canceled yeah. and or delayed. So Melissa and I were up like four in the morning trying to find all the flights <laughs> and, you know, it was just crazy. Um, and we really wanted Chris, we did not want to replace Chris. And, you know, all these actors, you know, they, they, Believe me, there's no money involved in these short films. No. You know, I mean, Trust me, no I, money. we are familiar, yes. <laughs> so um, all three actors were coming from L.A., flying, and, you know, I'm thinking to myself, like, but I don't even like to travel, you know, I don't cross country if I can avoid it. And so I was so embarrassed that we had to ask them, like, well, you know, we, we did, the flight's not been delayed or it's been canceled. Or Chris would call me and say, look, I'm sorry, they just called me in my flights. And then Chris would say, yeah, but I found another one. Yeah. I have to change to San Francisco. But I can still make it there. Wow, I can't believe he's willing to do this. Yeah, There's some yeah. game. Fantastic. You know. Yeah, I mean, he so was we did where is the overlook? Well, the actual overlook is in Alpine, New Jersey, um, and it's, it's the Palisades. Familiar. And that's why. And it actually, was yeah, you would know that area because all the original old silent films started being shot there. Yes. Um, because it's, it goes down to the Hudson, and it's rocky cliffs, and you know they used to have heroines hanging over the cliff, and you know in those old movies before Holly, you know, movies moved to Hollywood. Yeah. Yes. And it's um, just a beautiful place. They have, there's a park that runs along along the edge of it, and that's that's where the actual overlook was. It was a, it was a great yeah. shot when it comes up and you see. I was like, right. oh my gosh, that looks familiar. Yeah, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. And when you've only like yeah. seen it from a distance once. Right. And so thank you for clarifying because I'm like, was well, that the, you know, the the great thing also for us in the in the uh, the woods location. There's two locations. One was the overlook itself, which we did for a day on, and then we shot as it turned out, three days in the actual woods, uh, which was near our house. But what was great about the location, and, and the reason I wanted to do a movie in the woods in the first place, was you go into this parking lot, and it's called Tacomac Park, and you get out of your car, and we've, we've done it a million times with our dogs, you walk in the park, and literally like a minute and 30 seconds, you, you make a little left turn, and now you might as well be in the deepest woods anywhere. You can't see anything but trees and sky and wood. In the winter, just, you can sort of see a neighborhood out there, but well, yeah, but but, but once the leaves are in, yeah, yeah. And so can. I always thought this is so you could, could you could service the movie so easily with mm -hmm. you know the, the parking lot right, right there. You put a tent up. You put, so that that was one of the helpful things for us when it wasn't raining. Yeah. Well, I love the the twist in this, and you always have great twists in your films. <laughs> Thanks. And I love that you know, it just kind of it feels like it magically came together, which is scene well, good you can Thank see you. it you well, can we, feel it we feel that way everyone was so in it you know and 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 even though we had we had the, you know your usual production problems um but everybody was upbeat and like just in it and you know yeah. that's what happens it shows when you have good scripts it shows <laughs> and so you have your screenings coming up correct right. what you have the one o'clock today at harkins there you go and then 7 p.m on friday at harkins okay and well. you're in the shorts block yes i think it's Three, but I can't, I haven't seen I can't okay. swear to that. So you're, it, this is another one of the shorts blocks. So if you have your, your tickets for that shorts block, you're going to really love this one. It's a good one. And it, like I said, it has a great twist. Uh, and as usual, you've been here, so you know how our audiences are. You know exactly how the Q&As are. Right. And I think yeah. in our 30th anniversary, you're going to be so even exciting. more oh, excited amazing. about how yeah. engaged this audience is because they take these anniversaries very seriously. Yeah. You guys were here in 25. Yeah. And so I don't know if you remember how oh, electric yeah. that year was. Yeah. So no, it's it's this is the best festival, and and it we is. It's it just so we emotional, but also you treat us so well, and and uh, but the, the audiences are so passionate about yeah. film. 
Yo, here's and, some sound clips. <laughs> right. Please continue. And, and uh, yeah, uh, it's true. The audiences clearly love movies, and the questions are really smart in the Q and A. This is something that we notice because we go to so many festivals, yeah. we do so many Q and As. Um, but here, um, the audiences ask just such smart, uh, you know, questions that that um, you know always surprise us and challenge us, and it's great. We love it here. And I'm going to ask a question, a throwaway question. Uh, you've been to a lot of festivals, and how does this little festival, because they consider us a little festival, compare? I think it's the best one, honestly. We went to a very good festival for the first time, even very small festival in Cambria, which we absolutely love. It's um, it's the Romance Film Festival, and this this film <laughs> somehow yeah. well, it is a romance. It is, but um, but. Um, that was a really nice one, and we've been to Toronto, and we've been to some of the big, big ones, but, but this is just the, for being treated well, and for audiences that just really love film, you know? But also, the organization yeah, you know, of the festival, the way things run. Yes. Uh, and you, know, you don't really appreciate that until you're at a festival where it's not well yeah. run. <laughs> and suddenly you realize, well, wait a minute, what, what time is this, and why isn't this here, and where, where's We're this? We're professionals. And, yeah. Yes, We're professionals. you guys have got it down. You've got it down to yeah. a science, and, um, you know, it's a very, it, it is, a, it's a director-centric festival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it, it, you involve love the it. whole community of Sedona, which yeah. we love. In yeah. fact, I have to admit that half the time we're thinking about the next short film to be sure we have a reason to come back here. Because <laughs> the idea that. of not is terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I what, love that. What have we done we're going to see you again next Sedona. year. You Seven bet. years. Yes. Well, we I hope so. That. Yeah, because yeah, we, we, we do some films in our genres that are probably a little too edgy or, you know, like, but, um, but, we always like to have one for Sedona. And yeah. Somehow John's like sensibility, I think, is very Sedona. I think you channel some Sedona-esque. For a guy yeah. from Brooklyn, it's not so <laughs> I bad. I like you know it. I mean? <laughs> well, you heard it here, folks. Six years they've been coming with films, which are awesome. And they're always something surprising about them. They're well done. And, you know, <laughs> there's nothing better than to have someone who comes and has been here many times and at many festivals say... We're doing pretty good. Oh, yeah. We're doing really good. So stay tuned. We're going to have another incredible filmmaker in the seat right after this. And please support independent films. Go see these guys. Ask great questions. Say hi to Franny, How who's taking seminar? center stage. Oh, uh, I'm doing a seminar tomorrow morning on pitching. Ah. Um, which At a is, workshop. Yes, a workshop here. Get, hey. Listen to this, because this guy's made a lot of films, and he knows how to get things done. He's got so a lot of pitches. <laughs> come to the workshop and learn how to pitch. This is important stuff, and I think that this is a good one to know about, because I didn't know that was happening. Yes, yeah, 10 a.m. Thursday morning here at Yavapai. Here at Yavapai College. So at the VIP room, you'll see a, the workshop is right next to our media setup. I insisted so. on the VIP room. I would take nothing less than the VIP room. <laughs> As you deserve. Thank you. As you deserve, Thank you my friend. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, come out tomorrow for that and support that. That'll be a really, really, I mean, when you know how to pitch well, you'll get your stuff seen <laughs> and sold yes. and money in it. Yeah. So what an expert to have in for that. Congratulations. That's good Great. stuff. Great. Thank you. All right. We will be back very, very shortly. Our hashtag this year is SIF30, and we will see you very, very shortly with another filmmaker.